All right, nieces and nephews, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of Bo Mama getting her hands a little dirty, and they might already be a little bit dirty. She's already started because we, um, we're gonna run out of daylight. We have a little less than two hours of daylight. Pipes came in, got those in today. We gotta get these off. We gotta get the front one off before we take the rear one off because the heat shield, the clamp for the heat shield is pointing the wrong way to take off the back one, so. Uh, here we go. We're gonna get this thing started. What we got to do, baby, now that she's taking these nuts off of here, off of the studs, there's some bolts back there on a mount plate. Follow the exhaust back to the mount. It might not be that one. Does it fit? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do on that one is we're gonna see if we can, that, that, that ratchet's a quarter inch ratchet. We either want to use a regular wrench or get a three eighths drive ratchet. So we're working on the front pipe. So those are gonna be the bottom ones. The way you're going at it, you don't, you don't have much leverage that way. You got it? Yeah. Good ball, Mama. Prove me wrong. Not the first time. Definitely ain't gonna be the last. I'm hoping that mount bracket for um, that. the short shots is exact same so we don't have to take them off the frame here. We'll we'll hold them up That's next time. Really yeah, because there's this thing's in the way, so you're gonna have to use a regular half-inch wrench. Look at Bow Mama, she's pretty good. All right. Whoa. Yeah, so we gotta be careful. Your O2 sensor is connected. So you can pull this whole thing off. Kind of guide it from the front off of those, those, pet, those mount studs. There you go. All right, so let me get a, it's not gonna pull all the way out. All right, so uh, we had kind of a debacle. Uh, you guys can see I was trying to hammer that O2 sensor out. That didn't work. It took me, uh, eating a double quarter pounder with cheese. And uh, <laughs> um, Bo Mama actually, I, I was like, where is this plug at for this rear O2 sensor? And she goes, maybe it's behind here and that comes out. And I'm like, I don't know. So look, she's already a uh, already master mechanic over there. Oh, yep. So we got the O2 sensors unplugged. So at least we'll, we'll be able to get the pipes off. Uh, the only concern will be now no, I'm still getting the O2 sensors out. I think maybe what I'll do is if I can't get them off here, uh, I'll take the pipes into uh, into the shop tomorrow to see if they can remove them. Cause I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna record every little detail here. Uh, we're, we're really on a time crunch with this light. I wish I had more use of the garage, but I got a lot of shit in there. So uh, we're gonna pull these exhaust off. I'm at least gonna try to put the front one on for the other one for the time being. And uh, see if those floorboards work. That'll be really good news uh, for the time being. So, but it looks like it looks like a mess. I don't know what this guy. This guy had a bunch of LEDs and shit. But like, what? What is this? What is this? You know what I mean? What is this? What is this? What is all that shit? I don't know what all that shit is. All right, somebody in one of these videos recently said, make sure you film your failures too because people like that shit. I agree, people do. Well, we've got. Uh, we got another failure. This reminds me, if you guys have been here since the Goldwing days, if not, go back and watch all the Goldwing videos. Anyway, um, you wait a, week, wait a week on parts and uh, you finally get the parts and things still don't work out right. So. Uh, we mocked up this um, forward short shot, uh, which, would, which was going to tell us if it was going to be, you know, good to go or not. And uh, same problem, same problem. The uh, rear mount for the floorboard uh, won't go on. There's not enough clearance. Don't know what to do, my friends. Uh, we're gonna look at another exhaust, or we're gonna put her forward control back on. I don't know. So you guys, you guys are cheering for failure. How do you feel about it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's always something. Yeah, Bo Mama says it's always something, and uh, and she's right. I'm gonna clean this mess up. I'm gonna put some rags in the exhaust ports while I. Uh, Think. I got a big head, so you'd think I'd be able to think a little better, but I can't. So it's going to take every ounce of energy that I got to try to figure this out. Oh, boys. I actually wasn't going to get the camera out today, but uh, if you look back here, look who we have as a passenger. A backpack, if you will. <laughs> Last week, she actually rode with me to bike night uh, since we had the Dyna down. And, uh, she, that's the first time she rode with me since our uh, Goldwing accident in July of 2022. She prefers riding with me versus riding her own motorcycle. That's a lie. It's a lie? It's a lie. Yeah, it's a lie. 
Uh, so I, where I left off with you guys, I was heading into work. Uh, I'm going to get my rings put on, the uh, short shots that my good friend Phil Zilla sent down. We got the uh, the front pipe put on today, and uh, we're in the exact same boat. I don't understand it. The reviews, I mean, it is an Amazon part, but I honestly, the mounts and the boards themselves are like, they're quality, and they're identical to the stock switchback uh, mounts, believe it or not. So, you know, there's reviews on Amazon, and they have pictures of these guys running these Fans and Hines, like long shots, which is the same as the short shots. And yeah, it's a little bit tight, but they fit. Mine don't fit. So uh, we are kind of back to square one. And man, I posted like the little reels or the shorts, whatever, to uh, Instagram and YouTube. And so many people talking about her old exhaust, the big radio. Oh, those exhausts are trash. You need to get a good two in one, blah, blah, blah. I know I've kind of addressed that, but so I actually started looking at two into one when I when I had a suspicion that these short shots weren't going to work, and uh, they there's not one really uh, that's going to work with these uh, with these floorboard kits. I called Basani today and I spoke to one of their techs about fitment, and I told him what I was trying to do, and he said none of their two to one systems are going to fit that Dyna. That the only chance I would even have is to buy a switchback system and then modify the mounts for it. So I'm lost. I'm lost on that. And uh, there, there is a set. I think it's S S C Productions S C P. Um, T C Bros sells them. And if I'm looking at the pictures, I can't. You know, I know you can't go off of pictures. Look at the pictures on the website. It looks like that two into one might be high enough to give me the clearance I need. Before we wrap this video up, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about a little better, how that mount doesn't work. Uh, in order to make it work, I would need about, gosh, what would you say that was? Like almost three quarters of an inch? Yeah, at least. Yeah, so I'd have to make a spacer of like three quarters of an inch out to get that thing to clear the pipe. And that just doesn't seem safe to me. So I'm kind of flabbergasted over this whole thing. Um, anyway, I called SC, I, I, I might be saying it wrong. I, I may or may not correct it on the screen here, but uh, I'm waiting for them to call me back. Uh, if not, honestly, we're going to go with, you guys are, You guys who hated the big radius are really going to hate these. <laughs> the Bassani radius sweepers. Look those up. And the reason why those were attractive to me, look, she wants floorboards, right? And so I can already hear some of you guys talking about, uh, you know, are having floorboards really worth it? Yes, yes. Um, but those Bassani radius sweepers completely eliminate ever having to worry about, I could put probably a Honda Civic wheel on the front of that thing and I, the exhaust wouldn't be in the way. So that's what we're looking at. It's not cheap. Again, it's not something that I was really looking forward to doing. But we decided if we're going to work on this Dyna, let's work on this Dyna. You know, I don't want to skimp and put bullshit spacers down there to make that. Okay, so tonight on the way home from work, we talked. And uh, we decided we were going to do bike night one way or the other. So I hurried up, for, I got home from work. I had to wait on, today's Wednesday. The exhaust came in on Monday, but... I couldn't get the uh, flange retaining rings back on. I did them by hand in December when I changed the exhaust on this thing. Apparently, I've just gotten weaker since then. I don't know. So I had to order some, uh, some pliers, some spreaders. I mean, the Road King's a leg spreader, but I needed some retaining ring spreaders. You know what I mean? And uh, those came in today. Put the retaining ring on, the, just the forward pipe. I, I wanted to hurry up and establish if that was going to work or not with the, um, the floorboards. And uh, we determined that uh, if they did work, we were going to come out to celebrate. And if they didn't work, we were going to come out and cry on our beard. So either way, we were going to celebrate the beard one way or the other. Uh, that's your old uncle to answer for everything. Maybe you're awful quiet back there. I know. Cool. 
<laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna come up here to uh, our local bike night. Um, I don't. I don't want to do a whole lot of recording on the bike, and I'm definitely not gonna record up here while we're crying in our beer. Uh, but I at least wanted to uh, give you guys an update while we were both together. Because these, these exhausts, if I order these exhausts tomorrow, and I am going to try to get back in touch with SC Productions or SCP, try to get back in touch with them again, because I want the answer to that question. On the picture, on the picture, their lane splitters make it look like that they're riding pretty high, like high enough to give me enough clearance for that rear floor, floorboard mount. But it can't really go by the pictures, so... I want to see if uh, the manufacturer can uh, help me out. If not, then uh, yeah, we're gonna order those Basani's radius sweepers. All you guys who love those uh, big radius from Vance and Hines are gonna be head over heels in love with the Basani's. They're a little extreme. Wow, look at all these, uh, look at all these motorcycles. All it takes is nice weather and people come out. Imagine that. All right, y'all, welcome back. I have no idea how long it's been. Uh, probably a week, no, two weeks on Wednesday, you think, since we recorded anything about this. This bike has been down now for a little over three weeks, right? Yeah. Or is it four weeks? Probably four. It's a long yeah, time. Yeah, and this whole thing is she wants some damn floorboards so bad. Tomorrow, the new exhaust comes, and uh, I wanted her to get two to one to begin with, but it's not my bike. She would rather have something like what she already had on there or short shots, and we settled on a two to one system from SP Customs out in California. We ordered those two weeks ago this coming Wednesday, so two days from now, it'll be two weeks, and uh, uh, it's gonna be good, I guess, but man, they really took their sweet ass time on that, but uh, so tonight what we're gonna do, because we don't want to do it all in one shot, we're gonna put this right side on, get it together. Uh, so that way tomorrow, all I gotta do is put that head pipe on, and then we'll know right away if it works. I asked the, the guys at uh, SP Customs if they work on a switchback, and they said, well, we, we didn't design it for switchback, but customers who bought it for switchback have all said they work fine with no spacers. That's always been the problem, is waiting on, you know, figuring out if it's gonna clear. So, I'm gonna sit back and drink some beers. Bo Mama's gonna knock this shit out by herself, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, she had to put a towel down on there because she can't get her pretty little butt dirty, you know. I, I get it. I don't like my butt dirty either. All right, let's get going. All right, not that I know what the hell I'm doing, but I really think we should do the front one first, because the front one is going to have your brake pedal on it that's going to connect to this so if we get that together then we can just slap this rear one on the rear one's always been the problem guys for uh, uh not being able to clear whatever exhaust we put on it so that's going to be the front one um tonight what, I'm, what we're going to do is just tighten everything down and then if everything works as advertised then we'll put blue loctite on and then torque these things down and we'll pull out the other side We'll oh. pull out the, the, the mounts on the other side and put Loctite on it. Cause we torqued them, but I didn't put Loctite on. So I wanna make sure we do that. All right, put these on. I, this is gonna go, this, is, this should be easy. They can be mostly tight. It doesn't have to be tight cause we're gonna, we're gonna pull it out tomorrow and torque them with blue Loctite on there. So you're gonna put this through there and, and put that into that thing. That thing? Yep. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna go under anyway. No, that's not right. Something's wrong here. I figured it out. Okay. All right, take that thing back off that we just put on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, this is gonna hook. Look, this is gonna hook here, right? Mm -hmm. But it needs to hook there, there. Oh. So uh, this, this hump needs to go over. What in the absolute motherfuck is this? It's supposed to go down, not like that. Okay, it's supposed to go down. All right, you guys never mind your uncles cursing and screaming. You guys can't see her. She's laughing at me right now. Can you guys hear it? I'm glad I have her mic'd up because she likes to make fun of your old uncle. Your old aunt likes to make fun of your old uncle. <laughs> Thing is, she asked me, 
basically the same question I asked her a little bit ago, but I didn't word it where she understood me, I guess. I asked her if this thing, this mount on the other side was swept up or down. Yeah, baby, whatever. All right, now this one goes on in that barrel there. Mm -hmm. All right, so now all I gotta do is stick that in there. Oh, look at right. that. Okay, now there's a... <laughs> oh yeah? Listen to her, guys, listen to her, <laughs> fucking bitch. Anyway, <laughs> no, not that. This clevis pin is gonna go in here. We also gotta got make sure that like, yeah, it's fine. Here, stick it in there. All right. Take this key ring and stick it on the end of that clevis pin. Okay. There's also the other one that I asked you to keep yeah. because of how it's offset. It's not exactly like a key ring. See if it's back there on that. Because the ones that come from Harley look like that. No. There you go. Got it. All the way through. Now that is the only thing holding your entire rear braking system together. Nice. You like that? Yeah. Does it feel secure? No. Okay. No. That's it, they just, just like that. Yep, well this needs to be tightened up now. It's amazing to me that the People's Republic of China, they include the, uh, some washers, but there's no like indication of where these washers go. They're not on any of the diagrams, not a single washer. Well, you got four boards, you don't have exhaust, but you got four boards. Who needs it, right? All right, all we're gonna do is tighten these up. I'm actually gonna back this out afterward and uh, we'll let her kind of sit on her bike with her floorboards, see how she likes, how they feel. I don't think the brake's up high enough. Well, she got floorboards, exactly what she wanted. Look at that, they're pretty level. The uh, brake pedal and the gear shift. She doesn't have exhaust, but she didn't say that she wanted exhaust. Or a seat. <laughs> at all, or, or feet. A seat. But you got your floorboards, so Good. that's all that matters. Yeah. All right, sit on there. You want me to hold it up and let you sit on with your floorboards? Yeah. How you like it? Hold your brake, please. weird. <laughs> Why does it feel weird? Because you don't have a seat? Yeah. I think you're going to like the boards though. I think I'm going to like them. Yeah? Yeah. What about your uh, gear shift and where it is? I mean, I'll have boots on, not yeah. chonclas. Well, you're going to be a hell of a lot more comfortable. You say chonclas? <laughs> All right. Now, if everything goes as planned, which you know me, everything always goes as planned. Tomorrow, we stick those exhausts on there, tighten everything down, put torques where torques are necessary, and wrap this project up. That way she can finally stop riding bitch on my motorcycle. She hates it, right? Look at her. Yes, I hate Okay, it. I also hate, look at, look at this grandpa glide over here. I gotta keep this fucking seat and shit on here. Nobody wants that grandpa glide shit. But you know what? To carry my baby to and fro, wherever her little heart desires, it's absolutely <laughs> worth it. Look at that, she's smiling because I just touched her heart. Yeah, you did. That's not the only thing I want to touch, baby. Oh my, oh my God. Anyway, they look good. They look real good. Man, I'm, I'm really hoping, because if these exhausts don't work, the floorboards are staying. If these, if this new tuna one doesn't work, then we're gonna send them back. I already verified I could, as long as they're not run. And we're gonna get the uh, Bassani. They're definitely not either one of our favorite pipes, but it would absolutely be completely out of the way of any mounting issues that we've had. So so with that, fingers crossed, got to do a, a little job tomorrow morning. Exhaust should be in tomorrow afternoon. We'll see you then. Okay, so the original plan where we left off was that the exhaust was gonna be here on Tuesday, which it was, and we were gonna put it together last night, which we did not. Uh, you probably hear it in my voice. I got like deathly sick again. This is like the third time this year. Uh, so I've been kind of laid up on the couch, but I didn't want her to sit with, without her exhaust too long. I really wanted her to do all this work. Uh, she wanted to do all this work, but today while she was at work and I was off and even though I'm sick and on medicine, I decided to put them on anyway. Hell yeah. Now, she's not home yet, but thanks to uh, creeper apps like uh, Find My on iPhone, I know she's almost here, so we can kind of get her reaction as she comes in. Everything went together relatively smoothly. Uh, the exhaust from SP Customs or SP Concept doesn't have any instructions, but uh, I, I think any old monkey could probably figure it out. There were some things I had trouble with. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is uh, 
This floorboard bolt uh, is kind of stripped in there. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. The rest of them are all torqued in correctly. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm inclined to just leave it. I know I could probably go get it uh, tapped. That's all he wanted to say? He, want, he wanted to say hi. So uh, we put it on him to let him say hi. You excited about mom's bike? Hell yeah, you excited about your bike? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a dirt bike. Oh, and here she is right there. Speak of the devil. The devil drives a Jeep. There she is right there. How about that? Okay, we had uh, we had to put her thin mint on her shirt. So what <laughs> initial reaction? How's like it look? It. I like it. It looks good. Yeah? yeah? How do you like the look of that exhaust? I like it. I thought you were kind of hit or miss. I like it better than the other ones that you were looking at. So Yeah, the Bassani radio sweepers? Yeah. All right, start her up. All right. Here we go. It's a cold start. Put your hand on it so people know it's cold. If, no. If you trust me. No, I don't trust you because you're lying to me. What? Look, I'll do it. Stop. There we go. Ready? Like you it? like it? Yeah. Hey, Rhett, give it a little rev. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so for now, we're gonna call it a success. Uh, we do need to get out and ride. Uh, today's bike night, but I'm still rolling, I'm still tossing the air whether I'm gonna do that or not. I feel like ass. So uh, at some point, whether tonight or some other time, we're gonna get out and ride, and uh, we can hear her chuckle with glee on her floorboards. Cause she's never ridden with floorboards before. So yeah, all to get floorboards on. <laughs> Bike's been down three and a half freaking weeks. For floorboards. For floorboards. We got it. All right, boys and girls, here we are. We're finally wrapping up this video. We've been recording for like three weeks. It's been four weeks to the day since we took all the forward controls off, thinking, hey, in a couple of hours, we'll have uh, floorboards on your bike. A couple hours. Yeah, a couple hours, my ass. So uh, I did a test ride on Friday. I rode the bike to work. I did not record. I just wanted to make sure everything was good. And uh, yeah, why not? This is gonna be her first time riding on floorboards. She thinks she's gonna like them, uh, but we won't know yet. So she could absolutely hate them. And this has been a very expensive failed experiment. <laughs> Biggest thing I can say, baby, is uh, you don't just have little pegs anymore. So when you're taking your feet off, account for that. Like it's gotta be like an intentional, and it's gonna be the first time she gets to hear her exhaust when she gets on it too. I like it. You, you just got, I don't know if you guys saw that, his eyes, she loves the sound of that thing. I tell you what, on, uh, on Friday when I rode it to work, every chance I could get to get on it, I was on it. Woo! What? Okay, go ahead. What happened? None, the clutch is different. Okay, if you guys remember, uh, last video when we worked on her bike, we also changed her levers. It's not the levers, it's, it's that we did the adjustment. So, oh boy, <laughs> yeah, you're, I think you're gonna like it. What is it? So, now the clutch feels different, your exhaust sounds different, your foot controls are different. Yeah, my brake, my brake thing feels a lot more out than the other one. My front brake. Oh, well, yeah, remember yesterday I told you your this side of your controls is twisted more forward so if you need to twist that one back yeah damn this whole thing feels different <laughs> yeah it's like having a whole new, new bike so like my mirrors aren't adjusted or anything oh shit well adjust them when we get up here i adjusted them for me on friday so if you guys watched the video where i was talking about uh going to work you know going back to work um i, I explored a new a new set of back roads back here. We're going to go down those back roads. Also found a neat little bar that we haven't seen yet. It's called uh, the In Between. It's right next to an old train station. Still currently in use. Do you want to adjust your mirrors? Well, yeah, I don't know. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, that exhaust sounds good. <laughs> 
I like that sound way better than your big radius. And I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're going to notice or not, but you do have more torque. I mean, I'm I'm sure. I'm still just trying to get Learn. used to, like, even my gear shifter feels way different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that sound, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. It, neither one of us were really sure about the two and the ones. Yes, we. So, you know, everybody, com not everybody, so many comments on the Instagram side of things, a couple on the uh, YouTube side, but so many comments about how, you know, those big radius that she had were pieces of shit. She needs to go two into one. I, I kind of wanted her to go two into one for the performance, but it, it's not it, it's not really what we're doing. I mean, if you want performance, don't get a Harley anyway. That's what That's what I think. Um, but it ended up being the two and the one. She wasn't sure, but I think she likes them. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, she's queen back there now. She's always the queen. <laughs> I tell you on my end. So I told you guys one of the one of the reasons why we went ahead and pulled the trigger on floorboard now is because her bike has been laid down on the right hand side. You know, we mentioned that before. There's some scuffs on the right hand side. The old brake lever was broken on that side, you know, at the, on the end of it. But her forward controls, the right side was bent upward noticeably. So when I would look in the mirror, I would see that right foot like way up in the sky. And now everything's nice and even. Yeah, yeah it feels good. Good. It's different. I mean, I, it's everything is different. So it'll take me a little bit to. It sure will. Sure will. I love. I love the feeling of my my legs being kind of at a ninety degree, like my knees, but the four yeah. parts. But but it's not just the balls of my feet on the controls or the heels. The whole foot is on there. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Definitely gives you like more support, I guess. Yep. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, get on it, baby. <laughs> Yeah, these are like um, these are like the country residential roads in uh, West Deland. You know, we, we bypass all these all the time when we go anywhere. Really, you know, we have a couple of main roads that we use all the time, and we never really had a reason to come back here. And then uh, one of my pressure washing jobs that I had was a little bit further this way, but it made me look at the map in the area and say. Hey, let me try. Let me just take these roads and see what it looks like back here. I love it. It's like a nice little break in, on my commute from traffic. You know, it's just just these are the kind of roads I grew up on. You know, back in Tennessee. But yeah, these are nice roads. Yeah. Yeah, for people that say uh, we don't have curves, we just had like two of them on this yeah. trip. Yeah. Yeah. So That's what? What the hell? Sharp one. Yeah. What the hell? How many? How many do you need? Here comes the third one and the fourth one right after that. I got a three. Huh? Four. Yeehaw. Yeah, I found this spot online. The in-between bar. Kind of cool. Divey looking. Right next to the railroad tracks. There's a train station over there. I don't know if I'm going to walk over there, mostly because I'm really fucking lazy. But, hey, she went to the beach today, so she's kind of uh, burnt up. What's the verdict? I love it, um, but it's taken a little bit of time to get used to. All the gadgets, everything. she said, with the floorboards, the new pipes, the new levers, the way the controls, the foot controls are set up a little different than they were before. It all feels different. So it's like having a new bike, basically. Yeah. So do you, do you like it? I love it, yeah. I want some more of it. All right, that beer is not drinking itself, so I don't know if we're gonna see you inside but we'll see you at some point. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this one up. This is, uh, this Dyna has been a saga and uh, it's only going to get better from here as we can afford to do things. It's fun to have Bo Mama work on her own bike. Uh, it's fun to see how happy she is whenever those things come together and she likes them. She genuinely likes them. Worst case scenario is you put all that stuff on and you hate it. So thankfully this wasn't the case, but, um, 
I mentioned in the last video that I had two t-shirts left. I think I said they were 4X or 3X and one of them sold. So I have one t-shirt left. If you're a 3X, if you're a big fella like me, get that 3X shirt, get it out of my inventory. We got some new designs and stuff coming up soon, I think. And uh, stay tuned for that. So I appreciate you coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, we'll see you later.